Hello, you. Hope your uh, afternoon is going good. I can go talk with the uh, family. Well, anyway, um, I will talk soon, hopefully. All right, talk to you then. Bye. Developing news we tonight. Got Omar Harris, a former Harlem Globetrotter, has vanished while on a road trip to His Seattle. Found in Yolo Harris County. remains unaccounted They are hoping that anyone with information calls police. People come up missing all the time. But not many are six foot nine and three hundred pounds, as in the case with my ex-college basketball teammate Rico Harris. Rico and I played together back in college at Cal State Northridge during my sophomore year. Rico was a basketball star on all levels, high school, college, and was expected to be one of the next NBA stars. I remember Rico came uh, at the beginning of my sophomore year. For me, it represented a new challenge because he was coming in and he was really highly touted and brought a lot of hype, which was great. But for me, he's, you know, he's on my position and so it felt like it was a challenge for me because he was, he was really good. I mean, he could shoot the ball like crazy. He was an awesome one-on-one -on -one player in the post. So for me, it represented an awesome challenge uh, heading into that year. Masterpiece, um, IBO team. It was a um, pretty uh, talented team, and um, you know I, I was with I was with Matt Johnson All Stars, and I was I was a real I'm um, excited to uh, see him because I haven't, I haven't seen him you know since since um, college, but then um, as basketball kept going, I didn't I didn't really see Rico anymore at at any basketball events at at the pyramid for the uh, summer pro league or or at um, UCLA, you know, um, playing, or at any other um, basketball functions. So, you know, that, that crossed my mind. I was like, I was like, you know, what's up with, what's up with um, Rico? Uh, afternoon is going good. I can go talk with the uh, family. Well, anyway, um, I will talk soon, hopefully. All right, talk to you then. Bye. And then, you know, I hear this, I hear this story in 2014. I couldn't sleep. I'm thinking about it. It was like, it was like, I'm really bothering me. The, the disappearance of a Rico Harris, how a guy six foot nine, 275 pounds, there's um, no other clues. We don't wanna think about the worst, so right now I'm keeping myself very optimistic. I'm not really letting my mind wander anywhere else. I, I have to believe that, you know, I have that kind of faith that, you know, uh, we're gonna find him.
because yeah, this is just mind boggling. Those areas is like all mountains and stuff like that. So it's just, it's just a real, real unfortunate, tragic situation. I really hope this case can be a, a resolved. I just, I just, I'm really hope so. And it's just, just a sad story. I pray for the situation. I pray for his, his family. And um, I'm just, I'm just sorry that this ever happened. Yeah, I, I'm sorry.